Hello, it's Jenny Jen the Plant Friend coming to you again with my weekly series called Praise, Plants, and Prayer. It's a time in the week where I like to come before you guys and share my three loves. My love of the Lord, my love of plants, and my love of praying. So let's get started. Our stand on scripture that we recite each week comes out of 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 9, and it reads, I planted the seed, Apollo watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they will be rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. I know I say it every week, but I can't help but to say it again that I love that scripture. It just reminds us of what we're doing with these plants and how we're only just co-laboring with God. So, time to praise him. And our praise scriptures this week comes out of Psalms 8. Um, I'm going to read the entire thing, but I'll try and do it fast so we don't, I don't use a lot of time. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heaven, heavens, the works of of your fingers, the moon, the stars, which you have ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visited him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea that pass through the path of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Well, let's move right into our plant of the week. Each week, I feature a plant from my collection. And this week's plant is Fiddly, Fiddly Fig or Ficus Lorata. So I'm gonna tell you all about the plant and then I'll bring it into view. The Ficus Lorata, commonly known as the fiddly fig, is a species of flowering plant in the mulberry and fig family, Moeraceae. It is native to Western Africa from Cameroon, West Sierra Leone, where it grows in lowland tropical rainforests. The fiddly fig is native to warm, humid, tropical places where it gets consistent moisture and is even temperature. Trees prefer to dry out slightly between watering. They take good, a good deal of water to keep them healthy. Soggy soil will drown the plant. So, the height of this plant can grow anywhere from 12 to 15 feet tall. The light requirement for this plant is consistent, bright, but filtered light. And you should turn the plant every few months so that it will begin to not begin to lean toward the light. It prefers the east facing sunny window as afternoon sun from the south or west facing window will be too strong for this plant. Again, water when the first three to four inches of the plant becomes dry. You can also miss the fiddly fig on a regular basis. The humidity for this plant is medium to high humidity. The temperature again is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The soil, a well-draining mixture soil, potty mix is sufficient. Fertilize during the growing season, give it a well-balanced organic fertilized, uh, fertilizer once a month, and they actually have a fiddly fig uh, fertilizer that I'll show you the one I use in a minute. Propagation of this is just cutting it from the top of the plant. The fiddly fig is a gorgeous plant. Little temperamental, but gorgeous just the same. I love the fiddly fig. I have a fiddly fig 
uh, tree form, I had I have the bush form, and I also have um, the dwarf fiddly fig or the bambino fiddly fig, if you will. Um, without further ado, let me show you the fiddly fig. Typically, I have the plants in front of me when I do these videos, but because these are so massive and take up so much space, I decided to keep them off camera until I was ready. This is the dwarf fiddly fig. It's a beautiful plant. I love this bushy form. I love the green leaves. And the thing about the fiddly fig and where it gets its name is because the, fig, the, the leaves look like fiddles. They, they look like the fiddle, the instrument. It sort of fans out like a fiddle. And so this is the dwarf form that I have. Now, what you can see peeking through the window is my tree form, and I love this guy. Um, it's about, I don't know, maybe about three feet tall so far, but with those gorgeous big leaves, these two that I'm showing you now are recently um, new additions that have come in in the last couple weeks. Um, this one I anticipate will grow very tall. Um, I do have it in uh, under a grow light currently because it cannot be um, in the window behind me because it takes up all the space and I have other plants that need that space. So, um, but I want to put this one on the sun porch would be a nice um, place for it. This plant is very temperamental. Um, I This is my, again, my third Actually, I still have the other two. They're just in rehab. They've lost a lot of leaves, which is typical of them. Um, they have brown spots. Um, so I'm hoping that they're going to come back and, 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 uh, and do well um, after rehabbing. Now, one of them is in Lekka, and it, it took a minute. It struggled, lost all of his leaves. I did a video about how I lost all of the leaves, and then they started to come back. Um, but I have one stem that's put out five new leaves in the last couple months. So it's, it's a bambino, but it is doing very well. And then my original bush form is also in rehab. Well, who's praise plants and prayer for the week? Um, actually, we need to pray. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we honor you, we bless you. You are so worthy to be praised. You are our Father. You are our all and all. You are our rock and redeemer, a very present help in time of trouble. God, we thank you for allowing the plants to grow. We thank you, Father, for the touch of your hands, Lord God, with the weather and the temperature and the light that we need. I thank you for this plant community and all that will see this video. I pray, oh God, that you would continue to bless them with many more plants, Lord, that they will be able to take care of and see grow and see your hand in it. I thank you for the oxygen that these plants provide for us, the good health, the peace, and all that they provide. God, we love you so much and we praise you and we honor you for all that you are. And if you didn't do another thing, God, you've already done so much but we say thank you, grace and your mercy. We love and honor you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, good people, for watching this video, all that will see it. If you are not a subscriber, follower, please check me out on YouTube. I have several videos of caring for my plants and my LECA journey, transferring plants from the soil medium to um, the clay ball aggregate medium. Um, semi hydro. If for those of you who don't know what that is, check out the video Jenny Jan the Plant Friend, and you'll see all about my journey. Uh, I am on once a week with plant with praise, plants, and prayer, and so you can continue to check those out. Thanks again, and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.